Welcome, everybody. Um, I'd like to show you how I get a WordPress child theme project under version control using Git. And the idea here is as I'm working on my WordPress site, I've got a development environment. Uh, my current page right here, I'm kind of working on. There's changes that I've made. I want to make sure that if I break my code or I do something just kind of silly and I need to go back, I can always go back. And so I've talked about Git and version control in other videos, but I want to focus on how we do this on a WordPress site. And the reason why I want to show you that is because in a WordPress, in this case, it's a local developer site, you've got all these files here. I'm not working on any of these files over here. Um, <clears throat> I'm not working on the WP admin folder. I'm not going to touch those at all. I'm not going to touch the WP includes. All I'm really going to touch are possibly plugins and themes. In order to do version control, though, you need to get some files downloaded. You're going to need Git. And so you can just go to just Google Git, and you'll be able to find it. It's git-scm.com. SCM stands for Source Control Management. And then you can just download for whichever type uh, environment you're working with. I just download the standard one for Windows from here. I don't care about any fancy Git versions. Um, I, you need to have a GitHub account. So you're, you're going to want to go to GitHub or Bitbucket. I'm going to use GitHub. All of your, any kind of repository that you make, uh, you are going to, um, if you put it on GitHub, it's going to be public so anyone can find it. So you may want to pay for the, 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 the professional version so that you can have private repositories. If you're not sharing with a lot of people, try Bitbucket. Bitbucket allows you to have private repositories, but you can only have up to five people sharing any given project. But even if you work solo, GitHub is really, or Git version control is crucial. The other thing you're going to want is a git ignore file. And I got my git ignore file, kind of fun to say, um, from this ironcodestudio.com. So ironcodestudio.com slash bare minimum dash git. And um, so if we scroll down here, you're going to see these cheat sheets. And there's a cheat sheet on git. So this is good if you want to know how to do stuff. And then if you go down here, you'll see this bare minimum git ignore files. This is what you want, WordPress. So allow you to ignore the files you need to ignore. We're going to start with that. So the first thing I want to do is go to that site. And of course, you just want to, once you get there, you want to click raw. And that means you get the code. So you can just copy the code here. It's got all the credits, so you can credit your source. And copy that. It includes all kinds of things, like it even ignores any of the 20 themes. So 2015, 2016, whatever. Um, and so uh, just copy that. And then what you're going to want to do is put it in a file. Now, I, I noticed I already have it in there. So whatever you have under version control, you're going to want to put it in there. So I'm going to put the whole WordPress dev site folder under version control. And um, to create this file, I'm just going to delete it, show you how I do it. So what I like to do... I think Notepad++ is the program you want to choose. I just open it up. I'm going to choose File, New File, and I'm going to paste all that code I found. And then I just need to make sure I save it into the right folder. So I'm going to do a Save As. And then I want to make sure I save it into the right folder. And that's just, I just have to dig there a little bit to find my folder. Here it is. Now, for file name, it's .git, sorry, dot, not I, .git ignore save as type make sure you save as all files dot get ignore that is the file extension click save all right now that you have it in there we're ready to start putting this under version control right now i already have a project i started so this is great if you haven't started a project yet um, feel free to put the folder in version control before you start it i've already started it so what i want to do is i'm going to go back a folder and I need to initialize this folder. So I go out of folder so I can select it. I right click on it and you'll notice if you install Git, you will have a Git GUI or Git Bash here. 
Otherwise, you may need to open the program and navigate to it. Navigation is much easier on Git GUI than Git Bash. However, I prefer Git Bash when I know all my commands and I know what I want to do. So what I will do is I'll show you a couple things on Git Bash and then I'll show you the rest of the process on Git GUI. So you go to Git Bash and there it is. You see the folder path. And you write git. Most of your, your git commands are going to start with typing git space. And then init stands for initialize. I hit enter, initializes it. Now I'm going to exit out of here just to show you what that looks like. There it is. Let me show you how to do it, git bash. Now I don't recommend you normally get in the habit of doing this. Uh, I'm going to delete this so that it's no longer in a version control again. And I'll show you how to do that with git GUI. Git GUI. You see, create new repository, clone existing repository. We're going to create a new repository. And it wants you to find the directory. And uh, this is the one. So I click it, select folder, make sure that's the right one, and click create. This is the same as initializing it. See, we got that right back where it was before. Okay, get going. So uh, you saw both processes. Um, and then I'll show you a couple things. Um, this is one of those where when you do this, uh, you got to do it the right step. What's really crucial here, and the whole point of a get ignore, is you've got to include get ignore first. So one of the things I want to point out is um, once my get ignore is in there, you're going to see all I see are content theme folders content theme folders. You notice that? It's because the git ignore is already um, already having an effect. It's ignoring all the other files. So my git ignore is already working. So because I have it in. However, I prefer to put the git ignore under version control first before I do anything else. Now, uh, one of the things you can do is you can click on here to go. So basically the process is, I should point out, you stage a change, you commit a change, and you can push the change. You can also pull, in other words, get stuff from another site. Um, and so before I do that, I should go over, uh, we need to connect with the GitHub site first. So right now we have this folder under version control. And in fact, I'm even going to close this window now. Okay. What I want to do is go to GitHub and create my repository. So when you have an account and you sign in, don't forget your username and password. You're going to need that later. You want to click Create New. You're going to do a new repository. And I've already, get, I've already created this and deleted it. Um, so you'll see that it shows up right there. Uh, I'm going to leave the description alone. I can edit that later. I am not going to initialize it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to create it. So now it's created. And it gives me hints as to what I can do. Now where it says create a new repository in the command line, this is git bash. And, and basically I already showed you how to do git init. And then there's this for creating files. You got how to, this is staging a file, this is committing your file. Um, I will say this git remote add origin is crucial. So you got two options here. You can copy this line of code. Or you can, yeah, copy just the one line of code. Go back to your folder, go out of folder, right click, and you can git bash here. Notice there, now that we've initialized it, we see this thing that says master. That is the master branch on my folder. I can uh, right click and paste that in. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't find it. I need to go copy that again. I'm not sure I actually copied it. So I copy that here going to get bash and I should be able to paste it in. Yeah, if I hit enter, it's going to connect to the repository. And so that's all I would have to do and then I would be connected. But I want to show you how to connect using, um, I want to show you how to connect using git GUI instead. To exit out of git bash, you just type exit. Okay. So instead, I'm going to connect to it. I'm going to basically click on here to copy this path. Okay, so this is the other way we do it. If you don't do git bash, you can do it through git GUI. 
And what we want to do is we want to go to remote. Okay. The remote is that live online site, which basically, as you can see here, there's nothing in it yet. It's empty. So I click remote and I want to add. Control A does it. Now the location is what I just copied. The name is going to be basically everything minus the git, but not the full path. So it's that basic WordPress dev site. Um, I believe this has to match or it gives you trouble. And um, because there's nothing on this site, I'm going to say do nothing else now, and I'm just going to add it. If there were, if I wanted to find files and I want to start with something that was on the online, you would then do the fetch immediately. And then you could also initialize remote repository and push, but I haven't done anything since initializing it. And it's already initialized, so I'm just going to click do nothing else, click add. Okay, so now I'm connected. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add dot git ignore, we're going to commit it, and we're going to push it. And I'm going to do that all on git bash, and then I'll show you how to do git GUI. I want you to be well-rounded, that's, that's all. Okay, so, right click, git bash here. Okay, right, git status. This will tell me what's going on. So right now, based on my git ignore, I can see that git ignore is untracked. So is my WP content folders. That's all I want to track anyway. First thing I'm going to do is type add.git ignore. Oh, I have to write git first. Add.git ignore. That adds the file. Now if I do git status, notice what happens to the color of git ignore. It's now a new file. So if it's green, it's staged. And you will see that at this point, git ignore is staged but not committed. See, changes to be committed. Now I'm going to show you how to, how to commit this change. So you're going to type git commit. That tells us to commit it. Now we have to put a dash M because we're going to add a message. And then in quotation marks, let's write adding dot git ignore. Like so. Hit enter. Okay, that's the same as committing. Um, so now there is a commit and we have a little history. So now what I want to do is I want to push it to this site over here. So there's nothing here yet. Even if I hit refresh, there shouldn't be anything here, right? So go back in here and now I'm going to type git, sorry, git push. So now we have to say, where are we pushing? We're going to push to the origin. That's the online site master. Git push origin master. Hit enter. Fatal. It does not appear to be... Um, one second. Hey, look, there it is. Git push you origin master. It's right there. Duh. Paste. Git push dash you for username. I think for user could not read from remote repository. Okay. Well now maybe we have to do this. We'll see if this works. Oh, wait a minute. I might need to be out of this. I might need to be in this. No, I'm in that folder. Let's see if this is what I need. Okay. Didn't give me an error. Now here's a cool thing on Git Bash. I'm going to use my up arrow. Click up arrow once. Click it again. Now I'm back here. Will it let me? Aha! See what just happened. That's good. Let's go over here, hit refresh, and see. There we go. There's our get ignore. I click it. That's the file. That's what I wanted to do. All right, let's go back. All right. Uh, we can also add everything by typing git add dot, and that will get that will basically stage everything that hasn't been staged. I'm gonna go do the rest in git GUI. So I'm gonna exit out of here. Go back to this folder, right click, get GUI here. Now, to stage changes, I can click on here. Uh, updating the git index failed, rescan, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to click unlock index. That might be because I was going back and forth. I'm not sure. And see, now I have this staged. But I really want everything. So um, I'm just going to right click. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Um, commit. Stage changed files to commit. 
Yeah, this will stage everything up there. You got to give it a moment. It's at 88 of 136. It takes a little bit. We're going to unlock the index. Notice they're all down here. Nothing's up here. That means everything's staged. We're ready to commit. So we just put our commit message in here. Adding WP content theme. And I'm going to commit. Committing changes. It's done. Now I'm going to push. I want to push to the origin because that's what I called it. I'm going to push. It turns green. We're successful. It's going to take a little bit. It's a lot of files. Success. I click close. Go over here. I hit refresh. Notice two commits. WP content themes. There they are. I go back, get ignore, two commits, adding dot get ignore, adding WP content theme. We're good. All right, stay tuned for other similar tutorials related to Git and version control.